Well, good morning. It's another morning kickstart right here from the Resilience Talk Network. I'm Jay Walter. And I'm Brad Newfeld. And welcome again to our morning kickstart. We hope you're enjoying these. We, uh, we love doing them for you, and we're going to give you a motivational quote. Uh, Brad's going to give you a resilience tip. And then we have a little fun fact, and I think you'll enjoy this one. Yeah. So let's get started with a quote. It's from Marissa Mayer. Mm -hmm. She says, I always did something I was a little not ready to do. I think that's how you grow. When there's that moment of, wow, I'm not really sure I can do this. And you push through those moments. That's when you have a breakthrough. Absolutely. So that just gives me a little thought. Maybe, you know, if you, it, it's, it's one of those things I think you talked about. If, if you wait until you're ready to do something, mm-hmm. the opportunity may have already passed. So yeah. get out there, you don't know how to do, you don't know how to ride a bike until you ride a bike until you Correct. fall and you practice. And, and so you're not ready to ride a bike until you get on it and you try. Yeah. Or you're not ready to play the piano until you sit down and take some lessons and you practice. Or you don't, you're not good at public speaking until you get in front of people and, mm. and really get out there and do it. So I've blabbered on enough. So let's move well, on. There, a lot of truth behind that. A lot of truth behind that. Well, that, uh, let's see where this fits in with our, uh, our tip for the day. Uh, tip for the day is uh, mindset of a winner number eight, which is winners have a great desire to learn. It doesn't say that they're the smartest people in the world. It says that they have a great desire to learn. And this was a key thing that I found with people who are successful. They have been able to find that thing, that it, where they can go, you know what? This is me. This is who I am. And they become the expert at this one thing. You'll notice Mm. they're always one step ahead. They're so passionate about the thing that they're doing and the thing that they love. They're always like one step ahead of everybody else in their field. Okay. And I see this happen all the time. So it's a great desire to learn. And so a lot of times, and this is a a transition that most of us uh, older generation (laughs) uh, have to, uh, you know, come to grips with, if you want to call it that, because when Jay and I were growing up, I mean, there were so many fields that you could get into careers that you could get into, where you could work for 40 years, and get a retirement, get a pension, and right off into the sunset. Watching, yeah. Mm -hmm. The steel industry, the copper industry, the railroads, the, uh, uh, well, plastics were coming in, but there was all these things that you, they were going to be here. They're, anyway, they were just staples of our economy, where now that doesn't exist anymore. What about the steel industry now? (laughs) Gone. Gone. (laughs) Yeah, the copper industry hit and miss. Uh, the railroads, again, they're already solidified. The people who have those jobs, they have them. It's really hard to break into that kind of a job. And nope. so this can be kind of confusing to us in this new generation here. Uh, the average person, and these aren't the numbers that I've made up. These are numbers that you can find from the Department of Labor. The average person now entering the labor force is going to have between seven and 10 complete career changes from the time they enter the workforce till the time they, uh, they retire. Okay. Expect it. It's going to happen. And that uh, discourages a lot of people. They think, Oh my gosh, I just, I don't know how I can do this. Everything's changing so fast. I finally found a job I love. Now that company doesn't exist anymore. Well, again, if you take the time to, to really understand this mindset, have a great desire to learn, Find, go back and look at all of the jobs that you've done and find one that you don't, that you went, you know what, I really, really, really like this one. And then find out even as, you know, as much as you can about that particular industry or yeah. find something else that you've wanted to do that you've never taken that step that there, that's how our thing fits in today. <laughs> our, <laughs> uh, our uh, motivational quote, you know, have that breakthrough, try something new, try something you've never done before, but something that's kind of intrigued you. And you might find uh, something that you've never thought of before that you go, wow, I kind of like this, but you don't know until you give it a shot. Yeah. That's the one thing I do know. We can think about it all day long and, and judge things as they come our way and think, oh, I don't ever want to work in that industry. Go work in it and then answer that question. Because like yeah. me out of high school, I told myself I would never, ever, ever work at a fast food restaurant. 
And I, I'm like, I'm not going to be caught wearing the stupid hat because I know that back in my generation, you know, people would make fun of people working at McDonald's and things like that. <laughs> but I just said, there's no way I'm going to go there. Well, at, right out of high school, I found myself working at a chicken restaurant. And to date, that is one of the most fun jobs I've ever had. I always reflect mm -hmm. back on that because I got there and I just learned so much from it. There were so many different aspects of, of work that, uh, that I was able to develop good habits and things, uh, customer service being one of the biggest ones. And that's also where I met my wife. So, you know, I can't, uh, on memories there. Yeah. On memories there. <laughs> and so anyway, just take a chance, take that risk, get out there and try something new. If you're not happy where you're at, get into a different field. Don't be afraid to, uh, to learn something new. As a matter of fact, that's what's happened with our education system. There's so many specialty colleges because uh, big corporations got together and said, you know what? We don't need people with four-year degrees anymore. We need people who know how to build computers. <laughs> we can teach them just that and they can bypass yeah. all this other stuff. That's why you have the specialty colleges. Don't be afraid to invest in education. Uh, get out there and try something new because this is going to happen for the remainder of your days. Trust me. It's just going to keep on rolling uh, right now where it used to be, like I say, a 40, 50 year turnover. Now it's about a five year turnover. So whatever you're doing right now is probably going to be gone in, within five years. Again, don't get discouraged. Uh, just learn. Uh, start looking for something new right now. Keep your mind active. You'll find it. You'll find it. And then you'll be ready for when things start to, you know, when that industry opens up. So anyway, mindset number eight, uh, winners have a great desire to learn. Okay. So today is a uh, fun fact is the chance to revel in national no housework day. Really so down the laundry and toss out the to-do list for this one day, we can give ourselves a break and do what we want around the house. Maintaining a clean and livable home can sometimes feel like a never ending chore. As soon as you have finished the washing and cleaning, it needs to be doing again and again and again and again. Yeah. Well, that's why we have National No Housework Day. <laughs> Allow yourselves a break, meaning that for one day at least, you don't need to worry about the how the about the housework. Well, so, I'm going to make sure my wife doesn't no, hear that on hear this one today. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I like that idea though. That's good. We need to take breaks from everything from time to time. <laughs> yeah, don't don't make yourself, you know, take the time to read a book or do something that you want to learn about. So you're you're given permission today to not do any housework and do something fun. Maybe take your kids out for to the park or something. And you can tell everybody Brad and Jay says it's okay. That's right. Yeah, we are. We are the masters of the universe and we said it's okay. <laughs> so therefore go do it. <laughs> so anyway, oh, that's great, Jay. <laughs> yep. All right, let's wind this baby up. Okay. Well, we appreciate you listening today um, as always. And uh, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube. Find us in all your favorite podcasts, um, outlets, and uh, send us your comments and questions. And you can always listen to us on the, our, on the resilience talk network.com. Um, listen to our radio station. We've got 24 hour a day um, shows and interesting facts, fun people to listen to. They've got amazing stories. So um, we'll leave you with that for today and off we go.